about titles starting with the letter A to E. Episode titles starting with the letter F to J. Episode titles starting with the letter K to O. Episode titles starting with the letter P to T. Episode titles starting with the letter U to Z. Episode titles starting with the letter Annie's solo mission. The birthday machine. They may not be able to fly as soon as they hatch from their shells, but baby ducklings are born with sea legs. Ducklings will follow their mother into the water for their first swimming lesson hours after they come out of their shells. Did you know that the largest group of freshwater lakes in the world is in the United States? That's right. In fact, 20% of the Earth's fresh water is located in the Great Lakes. Growing baby ducks might be cramped inside those eggs, but at least they get plenty of fresh air. If you look closely at a duck egg, you'll see there are tiny holes in the shell for air to pass through. John Atkinson Grimshaw may have loved trains, but he loved painting even more. When he was 24 years old, he quit his job working for the Great Northern Railway in England to paint full time. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart wrote his famous horn concertos for his close friend, Joseph Ignatz Leitgeb. Since Joseph's horn didn't have any valves, he changed the notes by changing the shape of his mouth when he blew into the horn. Back! Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart was born on January 27th, 1756, the same year that St. Patrick's Day was celebrated for the first time in New York City. Video John Actinson Grimshaw's watercolor on the River Greta was painted in the Lake District on the coast of England, which was a popular vacation place for artists and writers. Zhang Lu is famous for creating his art using ink on paper, silk, or scrolls. Some of his art is black and white, while other paintings use a few colors. Cho Ying painted his art in the early 1500s. Today, he is considered to be one of the four great masters of the Ming Dynasty. K2 is the second highest mountain in the world. Only Mount Everest is higher. While Zozown's eight views of the Shao and Shang rivers is a painting, it wasn't created on a canvas like most paintings. Zozan painted his masterpiece on six panels of a big folding screen more than five feet high and ten feet wide. Even though it's a museum today, the Forbidden City used to be home to royalty in China many years ago. It must have been a great place to play hide and seek. There are more than 8,000 rooms in the palace. 
Tsai Jia was born around 1721, the same year that Johann Sebastian Bach composed his famous Brandenburg Concerto. Edvard Grieg wrote his famous suite, number one, in the Hall of the Mountain King, for the play Peer Gint. But years later, Grieg himself was the subject of a play. The operetta Song of Norway opened on Broadway in 1944 and told the story of Grieg's life. The Great Wall of China is the longest man-made structure in the world. In fact, it is so long that you can actually see it from the Earth's orbit up in space. The Champs-Élysées in Paris used to be nothing but fields and gardens, but it was replaced with a tree-lined pathway more than 300 years ago. Today, that pathway has turned into one of the most famous streets in the world. Vincent van Gogh was an art dealer and a preacher before he started painting. But once he started, he stayed busy. He painted around three paintings every week. When Vincent van Gogh was painting The Starry Night, he was trying to paint a masterpiece that was as good as the work of artist Paul Gauguin. He must have succeeded. Today, van Gogh is one of the most famous artists of all time. Back! Back! Lincoln Center was started in the 1960s to be a place for singers, dancers, musicians, and actors to get together in the heart of New York City. Back! The name of Ludwig van Beethoven's famous song, Fur Elise, means for Elise in English. But who was the Elise he wrote it for? To this day, nobody knows the answer. Ludwig von Beethoven was composing piano music by the time he was a teenager. He wrote three sonatas for the harpsichord when he was only 13 years old. Back! The famous Alta Brucke Bridge in Heidelberg, Germany, was built in the late 1100s. When it was first built, it was made of wood, but after it was ruined by floods and fires several times, it was finally rebuilt with stone in 1786. Much of German folk art involved creating things out of wood such as furniture, carvings, and even toys. In fact, before it became a big business in the U.S., toy making was a traditional form of German folk art. Perhaps the Black Forest is best known for being the home of the cuckoo clock. German folk artists hand-carved the cuckoo clocks out of wood and then painted and decorated them to look ornate. Back! The familiar first four notes of Beethoven's Symphony No. 5 are da 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 dum, which is actually Morse code for the letter V. During World War II, the BBC used the musical notes to stand for victory. Ludwig van Beethoven's Symphony No. 5 took more than four years to write, and when it was presented to the public for the first time in 1808, the performance took more than four hours. Back! When German folk artists 
first came to America in the 1600s, many settled in Pennsylvania, where they continued their artistic traditions and created a new form of Pennsylvania Dutch folk art. Though Hansel and Gretel was written in the early 1800s, it still remains one of the most famous fairy tales in the world. The Black Forest is the name of a forest in southwestern Germany, and the region is known for its black forest ham, honey, and delicious black forest cake. Back.